really awesome and very overlooked tool in Excel is conditional formatting. And what you can consider conditional formatting is really the combination of if function logic, like if this condition is present, do this, uh, combined with formatting options for incorporating that. And so let me show an example of basic conditional formatting and then a couple of relatively undiscovered gems that have been added to conditional formatting in recent years. First of all, basic conditional formatting. My scenario is this. I am uh, under this scenario a sales manager and these are all my salespeople and this is one month's worth of their travel expenses. Now over here in this column called total fare we might get the total amount for an airline ticket or a hotel stay or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these amounts in here. And then I'm going to go up on the Home Ribbon tab. And I'm going to click a button called Conditional Formatting. Because what I want to do is I want to format any line item amount that's $500 or greater. So when I click the Conditional Formatting button that's on the Home Ribbon tab, and I start right up here on the top where it says highlight cell rules I'll actually pick the greater than condition and then what pops open is I get a little box where I can specify the condition over here and the format that goes with it over here format cells that are greater than I'm actually gonna make that 499 so the 500 number will actually be included and then uh, we'll go ahead and set the format up over here. It can be any of these can formats or a format that we could build ourselves. We're just going to stick with light red fill and dark red text and click OK. Now, whenever the condition is present, the formatting is present. Whenever it's not, it's not. But check this out. If it changes, if that number right there changes from 600 to be a number that actually goes out of the condition, like 340, um, that can that formatting goes away if the condition changes here for example to a number that brings it into the condition then the formatting comes becomes present if you ever want to just get rid of the formatting just go ahead and highlight those cells right there I'm gonna highlight the whole column go up to conditional formatting drop down here to the bottom where it says clear rules and we'll clear rules in this case from the selected cells so basic conditional formatting super easy to use what I'm about to show you though, I'm going to go over to this uh, other worksheet called Data Bars, are some things about conditional formatting that have been added in recent years that people just don't know about. Let's say we want to put a little graphic right there in the total sales field that will show uh, a little chart right in the cell that will show how those state sales totals are doing relative to each other. So one thing we can do is go up to the conditional formatting button drop down here to a button called data bars and simply pick a color so that's conditional formatting data bars pick a color and see what happens right there in the cell is the biggest number in the range gets a full bar and the other numbers in a range get a bar uh, relative in size to that based on the scale of the number so that's super easy to use and it adds a graphic element uh, to what you're looking at another way to add a graphic element is that let's just say that some of these sales totals in here for the given months, for the given states, some are good, some are bad, some are in between. We want to put a little graphic in there that very visually tells you that without having to interpret the number based on some internal scale you're supposed to remember or whatever. So let's go ahead and highlight these cells, go up to conditional formatting, and drop down here to icon sets. Now look at all these cool icon sets that you can pick. You can kind of hover and get a preview in terms of what your data would look like with those icon sets. I'm just going to pick this shape icon set right here and tell you that the default that you get with icon sets when you have three icons that are in a particular set is it takes the full range of data which in this case the lowest number in the range is $1,345 the biggest number in the range is $9,999 and it divides that full range into thirds so any number that falls into the bottom third gets a red, the middle third gets a yellow, and the top third gets a green. Very often when you put icon sets in place, you're going to want to change the parameters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these range of cells that has the icon set rule. I'm going to go up to conditional formatting and drop down here to manage rules. 
I'm going to select the one rule I have in place for that range of cells, which is just this icon set rule, and click Edit because I want to make changes to the parameters for it. So what I'm going to do here is the default parameter for the green condition. It's got to be in the top 67th percentile. Yellow condition is anything between the 33rd and the 67th percentile. And then the bottom third um, gets the red. I'm going to go ahead and change these types to numbers. And then I'm going to make the top parameter $5,000. And I'm going to make the bottom parameter $3,000. And so I'm actually also going to go over to this yellow condition, hit the drop down and choose no cell icon. And now when I click OK and apply and click OK, now I'm focused here on the red items, which are uh, uh, amounts I need to take a look at, talk to the sales manager there, figure out what went wrong, try to fix it, and then focus on learning from why we did so well in the green categories and trying to apply that. Uh, to my other sales teams and, and learn from those positive experiences. So the thing about icon sets, if you've ever heard of key performance indicators or KPIs, icon sets are a great way to create visual dashboards around those KPIs or key performance indicators. So opening the door, showing you these, uh, another very, very um, infrequently used tool uh, in Excel that uh, will actually increase the visuality, if you will, the visualness, if either of those are words, um, or the, the visual impact of your data so you can get a message out of it very, very quickly. Uh, so conditional formatting in general, in its basic form, but also with data bars and icon sets, great ways to make your information visual.